Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this crochet bunny. The pattern is down below in the description and I'm using a G hook and then for the bow I'm using an F hook but you can always go up on the hook size if you want this bigger. This was about six to seven inches in length and if you want it bigger I would suggest going higher on the hook size. Okay, you can do it in any color, of course, or um, type of yarn. I used medium worsted yarn. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to start with the magic circle. If this is your first time, there is a link down below. Slip stitch into it. And then you're going to work six single crochet. Grab that yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops. And if this is fast for you, there is a link down below on how to place your video in slow motion. So you will need six single crochet. Then you're going to pull it close and slip stitch in that first single crochet. You will need a stitch marker or you can use your tail as a stitch marker. I can show you that. I'm going to use both. And then you're going to pull through to slip stitch and then work two single crochet in each stitch around. That will make 12 all together. slip stitch and then use a stitch marker and what we're working on is the head and the body first and the other parts will be done separately then work a single crochet and then work a two single crochet increase and then repeat that around so you'll do one and then two so this is two and then one and then you'll repeat that around until you get to your stitch marker and then two increase and then separate we'll do the arms and the feet and the ears you're at the end here and then I'm going to start working in continual rounds so no slip stitch you can if you want then I'm going to work one and then two and then two increase. So the pattern is one, one and then two. And so you can use your stitch marker, one, one and then two and go all the way around until you get to the beginning. And then make sure you keep track of that stitch that started so you can go right back to that original place. Okay, um, you're back at your stitch marker, work one, two single crochet, three, and then on your fourth one you're going to work two single crochet and repeat that all the way around. So one, two, three, and then four is an increase. Okay, you're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. And then work two single crochet increase and repeat that around until you get to the stitch marker. So four and then two. Now you're going to just work a single crochet, six rounds of just single crochet. Keep your stitch marker and work six rounds. Now work four single crochet after your six rounds. Then I'm going to show you how to do a decrease. This is a little bit of an invisible one. 
So you go into the front loop and the next front loop and you pull through and then you yarn over and pull through again. That's an invisible two single crochet together. Okay, just repeat that work for single crochet and then two single crochet together. Now you're going to single crochet in the next three. So two, and then three, and then work the two single crochet together. And just repeat that until you get back to your stitch marker. Now I'm just using my tail as I pulled it through. Just repeat that until you get to the beginning. Now you're going to work two single crochet, and then two single crochet together. You'll repeat that until you get back to the beginning. So you're invisible to single crochet together. And then you're going to work two single crochet and then two single crochet together until you get to the beginning. Now you can start stuffing. This is the head, you can start stuffing it. You can place the eyes about seven to eight rows down and about seven or so inches apart, kind of like seven to eight down. And these ones I found at Amazon. I'm going to post a link for those. Um, I do recommend the ones that have the back, so I'm gonna look for some on Amazon with backs to them. Now you're going to do one single crochet and then two single crochet decrease again. Make sure you have around 12 stitches once this round is finished because now it's going to start expanding into the neck and then to the body. So now you're at the neck part and you're going to work a single crochet in the next two stitches. and then work an increase to single crochet together. Repeat that around until you get to the beginning. So two single crochet. Okay, so now you're going to work a single crochet and then two single crochet and repeat that around for this round. So one and then two and then one and then two. And this is going to be the neck part of this bunny. Now work a single crochet in the next two stitches and then work two single crochet increase and then a two single crochet. Repeat that all the way around until you get to the beginning. Okay, for the next four rounds you're going to just work single crochets. So no increases or decreases for four rounds. Continue around. Now single crochet in the next two stitches and then work two single crochet together. So then you're going to work two single crochet together and then work a single crochet in the next two stitches and you'll just repeat that around until you get back to the beginning. So one and then two and then two together. Now single crochet and then work a two single crochet together decrease and you'll repeat that all the way around until you get to the beginning for this round. So single crochet to once and then single crochet together. Okay. 
Now just single crochet in each stitch around for this round until you get to the beginning. Now you're starting to close it. Make sure you have enough stuffing and stuff it and then work one single crochet and then two single crochet together and then repeat that and then the next round you'll start closing it. Then work two single crochet together until it starts to close and then you'll take your yarn needle and weave in the ends. Okay, you're going to fasten off and then take your yarn needle and weave in your ends. Okay, in the magic circle, I'm going to work slip stitch into it and then work six single crochet and this is for the legs. So you're going to make two of these and I'm using the same hook size. So work six single crochet. Then work two single crochet around for this round until you get to the beginning. And then you're going to slip stitch. You can use a stitch marker. Then you'll work one single crochet and then two single crochet around. So one and then two and then work that as a repeat until you get to the beginning. So one, two, one, two. Okay, now you're going to work a single crochet in each stitch around without a slip stitch until you get to the beginning. You're going to do that for three rounds of just a single crochet. So this is the end, so I'm just finishing up the end. Now you're going to work without a slip stitch just single crochets, three rounds of it until you get to the beginning. Now you're going to single crochet and then work two single crochet together. Repeat that around until you get to the beginning and then you can start stuffing the leg here and make sure you make two of these. Now you're going to work two single crochet together to start closing this, make sure you have your stuffing in size, inside. So two together, single crochet. Okay, take your yarn needle and sew it close. Okay, so here's the leg and you're going to sew it on right at the bottom there. You're going to make two arms with the same hook slip stitch into the magic circle and create four single crochet and then pull it closed and then slip stitch in the first stitch You're going to work two single crochet in the first stitch. And 
and then one single crochet in the next so it's going to be two and then one and then two and then one and then you can use a stitch marker and then work one single crochet you can slip stitch first then you can work in continual rounds and then work one single crochet and each, each stitch around for four to five rounds just depending on how long you would like the arms so you'll just continue around. There's going to be six stitches to work with. Then you can slip stitch in the next stitch, fasten off, and connect those arms right on the side, right below the head. Now in the magic circle, you're going to work five single crochet, and this is for the ear, so you'll need two of these. slip stitch to pull it close and then you're going to work two single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 10 Now you're going to work a single crochet and then two single crochet for an increase and then repeat that all the way around. So then one, two, and then one, and then two. Single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochet increase in the next and then repeat that around until you get to the beginning now you're going to single crochet in the next three rounds with just single crochet now single crochet in the next two stitches and then work two single crochet together and then you'll repeat that around until you get to the beginning And then single crochet in each stitch around for two rounds on this round here. You'll do it two times, single crochet. Now single crochet and then work two single crochet together until you get to the beginning. And then you're just going to fasten off. And this is the last round on this round for the ears. Okay, now you're going to just slip stitch and pull through, fasten off, and you'll sew these on top of the head of the bunny. Okay, now you're going to sew this ear right on top. On both sides, you'll just sew it right on top with your yarn and your needle. You can leave a tail with the ear so you can sew it on, just like so.
okay, you're going to sew on the little arms right up on top and then the feet are at the very bottom. And you'll do that the same way. Just take your yarn needle and sew them right on. You can sew on a little nose with your yarn needle and there's a little knot on the end that just stops your yarn then you can cut it off in the back so just go through the back and just do a couple of dash lines and then you can cut the back and it will just stay inside of the ear or inside of the head If you'd like to make a little bow, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm using an F hook so it's pretty small and I'm slip stitching into it with a chain three to start. Now I'm going to work a three double crochet in the circle. Now chain three and slip stitch into that circle and then just repeat that again with a chain three and then three double crochet again. Now chain three and slip stitch and then pull this closed and then you're going to wrap around the center. You can slip stitch right into the center to complete. So slip stitch and then pull it tight and then you can wrap it around about five to ten times for the center and then attach it to the ear. Now you can attach it right to the ear and sew it right on. Now if you like you can add a little cotton ball to the end back with some glue like hot glue gun and then your little bunny is complete. Okay this is what the bunny looks like. I hope you enjoyed it and the pattern is down below. Okay so thank you for watching and please subscribe.